Hey guys, Reza here. I just want to share with you my home recording setup. This is a Boya BYMM1 mic. It is a cardoid mic. Um, take note at the angle that I'm placing the mic at. I have a tripod underneath. The mic is at an angle at 45 degrees and speaking um, across the 45 degree angle of the mic just from the corner of my mouth. Okay, the key thing here is to be able to check the other settings on Windows to optimize the sound quality and the sound volume of your recording. First thing you have to do is you have to go to control panel. I will show you on the screen here. Go to control panel, click sound. After you have clicked sound, you will find the there are four tabs there. Playback, recording, sounds and communications. I want you guys to click recording. After you've clicked recording, double click on the microphone that's highlighted with a check mark. So as I double click, I will be able to see one, two, three, four, five tabs, okay? So the first thing you need to do is to take a look under the list uh, levels tab. Under the levels tab, the microphone boost will be at 24 decibels. Play around a little bit. For me, I find that on my recordings for my PowerDirector 16, um, it is ideal to have a microphone boost at plus 24 and the input gain of my uh, video editing uh, software at 60% for the input gain. The most important thing you need to do for microphone properties right now is to go to enhancements and switch off and check off noise suppression and acoustic echo cancellation. Okay, what I did realize that with um, noise suppression it dampened the sound. Um, you don't need that with an external mic like this because that was meant for the uh, internal mic that uh, that Windows had. So with a mic like this, you have the dead cat on. It uh, cuts off a lot of the external noise. Remember, a cardioid mic generally uh, takes noise from one direction. Uh, I did find that with this mic, if I spoke directly into the mic, it picked up a lot of the big P's and um, in the audio recording world, they called it plosives and that uh, messed up the audio a lot. You heard that big Tuck, tuck, tuck sound, the cutting sound at the top, and that's called clipping. So plosives causes clipping and it's super annoying to the ear. Although your voice sounds a lot clearer, but you get that pop. So in order not to buy another uh, gadget, which is the pop filter, you don't need it. You just have to maintain the supplied product, which is the dead cat, and speak at a 45 degrees angle uh, across the mic okay the next most critical thing to get right now for you to do your own monitoring without taking the 3.5 mm plugs in and out of the computer is to get a Y splitter which I'll show you on screen here it's a Y splitter that goes through your headphone jack the 3.5 mm uh, jack and then it splits out into uh, input for microphone and input for headphones so when I do my editing or when you do webinars, when you do any kind of uh, online sessions, you are able to listen to the audio coming in as well because the mic alone plugged into the computer, you will not be able to listen to the audio because there's only one way in, there's no way out. If you switched on the system speaker from the computer, you will get a echo coming, all right? You will get a feedback and echo through the speakers. So the best thing to do right now is to get a very cheap splitter the splitter is like what three dollars maybe you can get it anywhere on shopee carousel whatever i found mine on shopee i just had to wait for a few days for it to come and it's an extremely useful tool to help you manage both um the speaking into all right and the listening off um i tried the other method of speaking to myself through the headphones cannot they have a feature for that uh on the sound control panel it's called uh listen in but what happens, there's always a delay between what's coming in and what's going out. I find it annoying. I can't do that. Some people can do it. I cannot do it. I will stop my speech halfway. So I hope this video is really helpful. Again, Boya BYMM1 on a tripod or whichever. Make sure that you don't touch um, the, uh, the tripod or the mic or have anything that might disrupt the sound that's coming towards it. If not, it gets really annoying for the recording. And um, the other tip is to always have it at a 45 degree angle, speaking across the mic and not allow the air to flow into the mic. So that's what I've learned so far. I hope this has been helpful for you. Try and find a space in the house where you can get a clear 
uh, blank wall like me and also get good lights that's coming from the top so I don't have any more additional lights here this is just nice for me this is my kids room actually so I'm thankful that I have this space in a house that I can do this um, regularly so thanks so much guys this is just a short quick tip five minutes video for you I'll set up the links uh, for the mic and all that below